Here are a few practical ways to transform your life. 1. Eat the frog first. All right, folks, let's be real for a minute. We've all got those tasks that make us want to curl up in a ball and hide under the covers, am I right? You know the ones I'm talking about. The dreaded projects, the mind-numbing chores, the oh-God-please-make-it-stop kind of to-dos. It's like someone's dropped a big slimy frog right on our plate and expects us to just gobble it up, no questions asked. But you know what they say, eat the frog first. Yep, that's right. Tackle that sucker head on, even if it feels as pleasant as munching on an amphibian for breakfast. Why, you ask? Well, my friends, it's all about that sweet, sweet sense of accomplishment. Think about it. Once you've conquered that beast of a task, the rest of your day is gonna feel like a breeze. You'll be strutting around like a proud peacock, basking in the glory of your hard-earned victory. And let's be honest, who doesn't love a good old-fashioned ego boost? Now I know what you're thinking, but wait, isn't that whole eat the frog thing a bit, well, unstoic? Well, my friends, the Stoics would beg to differ. As Seneca so eloquently put it, it is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. You see, the Stoics believed that by facing our fears and tackling our toughest tasks head on, we're not only building our resilience, but also cultivating a sense of mastery and control over our lives. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. So why not make it a life filled with the satisfaction of a job well done? And let's not forget the wise words of Epictetus who said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. By approaching our dreaded tasks with the courage and determination of a true Stoic, we can transform those slimy frogs into delectable morsels of accomplishment. So, go ahead and swallow that frog, my friends. As the Stoics would say, embrace the challenge and the challenge will embrace you. Tackle that beast of a task and watch as the rest of your day unfolds with a newfound sense of ease and satisfaction. Two, engage in something that fills you with pride. We all have those little victories that make us puff out our chests like a proud peacock. Whether it's finally mastering that tricky recipe, crushing that workout routine, or finishing that epic novel, there's nothing quite like the feeling of accomplishing something you can truly be proud of. So, why not embrace it? Strut your stuff, my friends. Engage in those activities that fill you with a sense of pride and let that inner glow shine bright. After all, as the wise Marcus Aurelius once said, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. So, why not make it a life filled with the satisfaction of a job well done? You see, the Stoics believed that taking pride in our accomplishments was not only natural, but also a sign of our growth and development as individuals. By engaging in activities that challenge us and bring us a sense of fulfillment, we are not only nurturing our own well-being, but also contributing to the greater good of society. So go ahead and conquer that book, nurture that plant, or post that culinary masterpiece with pride. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Make it a life filled with the satisfaction of a job well done. Three. Embrace digital minimalism. All right, folks, let's talk about something that's been bugging me for a while. This whole morning social media scroll thing. I mean, come on, it's like we're all addicted to that little dopamine hit we get from refreshing our feeds, right? It's like we can't even start our day without that sweet, sweet taste of digital sugar. But let me ask you this. How's that working out for you? Are you feeling energized and ready to tackle the day? Or are you just scrolling through the same old memes and cat videos, wondering where the time went? Because let me tell you, starting your day with a tech-fueled sugar rush is about as healthy as adding a heaping spoonful of the sweet stuff to your morning coffee. 
You see, the Stoics believed that by embracing a more minimalist approach to technology, we're not only cultivating a sense of focus and control over our lives, but also nurturing our own well-being. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it. So why not make it a life filled with the clarity and focus that comes from a tech-free morning routine? And let's not forget the wise words of Epictetus, who said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. By approaching our digital habits with the same level of discipline and self-control that the Stoics embodied, we can transform our mornings from a sugar-fueled frenzy to a serene and productive start to the day. So my friends, I challenge you to embrace digital minimalism and give yourself a tech detox in the morning hours. As the Stoics would say, embrace the challenge and the challenge will embrace you. Unplug, recharge and watch as your days become more focused, fulfilling and, dare I say, even a little bit sweeter. 4. Dedicate 30 minutes to your physical health. Let's be real for a minute. We're all about as busy as a bee these days, aren't we? I mean, it's like we're constantly buzzing from one task to the next, never taking a moment to catch our breath. And you know what they say? All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Well, I don't know about you, but I sure don't want to end up as dull as a doorknob. That's why I'm here to tell you that your body deserves a little bit of love too, my friends. I know, I know. It's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of everyday life, but trust me, taking just 30 minutes out of your day to focus on your physical health can make all the difference. It's like adding a little bit of honey to your morning coffee. It might not seem like much, but it can really sweeten up your day. You see, the Stoics believed that by taking care of our physical well-being, we're not only nurturing our own resilience and strength, but also cultivating a sense of balance and control over our lives. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it. So why not make it a life filled with the energy and vitality that comes from a little bit of daily physical activity? And let's not forget the wise words of Epictetus, who said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. By approaching our physical health with the same level of discipline and self-control that the Stoics embodied, we can transform our busy days from a frenzied blur to a well-balanced and fulfilling experience. So, my friends, I challenge you to take just 30 minutes out of your day to dedicate to your physical well-being. As the Stoics would say, embrace the challenge and the challenge will embrace you. Whether it's a brisk walk, a quick workout, or even just a few minutes of stretching your body and your mind will thank you for it. 5. Embrace the mundane. How many of us actually get excited about doing the dishes, folding the laundry, or tackling that dreaded inbox? I mean, come on. It's about as thrilling as watching paint dry, am I right? But you know what they say, no pain, no gain. And when it comes to achieving greatness, sometimes we've got to embrace a little bit of the mundane. Think about it. When was the last time you crushed a major goal or accomplished something truly remarkable? Chances are, it didn't happen by accident. Nope, it took a whole lot of boring, repetitive tasks to get you there. It's like warming up before a workout. Not the most thrilling part, but essential for success. And let me tell you, once you start seeing the fruits of your labor, that boring old chore is going to start looking a whole lot sweeter. You see, the Stoics believed that by embracing the boring and mundane tasks in our lives, we're not only building our discipline and resilience, but also cultivating a sense of control over our own destiny. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. So why not make it a life filled with the satisfaction of a job well done, no matter how mundane the task may be?
You see, the Stoics believed that by embracing the boring and mundane tasks in our lives, we're not only building our discipline and resilience, but also cultivating a sense of control over our own destiny. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it, so why not make it a life filled with the satisfaction of a job well done, no matter how mundane the task may be? And let's not forget the wise words of Schopenhauer who said, people are not bored because they are alone, they are bored of their own simple thoughts. By approaching our boring, repetitive tasks with the same level of focus and determination that the Stoics embodied, we can transform those tedious chores into stepping stones to greatness. So my friends, I challenge you to embrace the boring, the mundane, the downright dull. As the Stoics would say, embrace the challenge and the challenge will embrace you. Get cozy with that inbox, snuggle up to the laundry, and watch as your path to greatness unfolds before your very eyes. Six, keep earning your titles, earning your titles. You know, like in those video games we all love to play, where you start off as a lowly peasant, but through sheer determination and hard work, you slowly climb the ranks, unlocking new abilities and achievements along the way. It's like a virtual version of the American dream, am I right? But here's the thing, why should that virtual world be any different from the real one? I mean, think about it. We all have our own titles in life. Whether it's that fancy degree hanging on the wall, the promotion we've been busting our butts for, or even just the simple act of being a responsible adult who can actually keep a plant alive. And just like in those video games, we don't want to lose those hard-earned levels, do we? You see, the Stoics believed that by constantly striving for self-improvement and personal growth, we're not only cultivating a sense of purpose and fulfillment, but also building the resilience and discipline needed to weather life's ups and downs. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. So why not make it a life filled with the satisfaction of a job well done and the excitement of unlocking new levels of success? And let's not forget the wise words of Epictetus, who said, the greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. Skillful pilots gain their reputation from storms and tempests. By approaching our personal and professional goals with the same level of determination and focus that the Stoics embodied, we can transform those seemingly insurmountable challenges into stepping stones to greatness. So my friends, I challenge you to keep earning your titles, to keep pushing forward and to embrace the thrill of unlocking new levels of success. As the Stoics would say, Embrace the challenge, and the challenge will embrace you. Because let's be real, who doesn't love a good old-fashioned virtual or real-life victory? 7. Leave a book in the bathroom. How many of us have found ourselves sitting on the throne, phone in hand, scrolling mindlessly through social media while nature takes its course? I mean, come on, it's like we can't even take a break without feeling the need to be constantly connected. But what if I told you there's a way to turn those precious bathroom moments into a chance to feed your mind and expand your horizons? Enter the humble bathroom book. That's right, my friends. Why waste time staring at the same old cat videos when you could be diving into the latest bestseller or brushing up on your favorite subject? It's like the ultimate in multitasking, the spice of life, if you will. I mean, think about it. You're already there. Might as well make the most of it, right? You see, the Stoics believed that by embracing every opportunity to learn and grow, we're not only cultivating a sense of intellectual curiosity and discipline, but also nurturing our own well-being and resilience. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. So why not make it a life filled with the satisfaction of a mind constantly in motion? And let's not forget the wise words of Epictetus, who said, 
No person is free who is not master of themselves. By approaching those seemingly mundane bathroom breaks with the same level of intentionality and focus that the Stoics embodied, we can transform those moments of respite into opportunities for personal growth and enlightenment. So, my friends, I challenge you to leave a book in the bathroom and start maximizing your throne room time for mental gains. As the Stoics would say, embrace the challenge and the challenge will embrace you. Because let's be real, who doesn't love a little bit of throne room enlightenment? 8. Get yourself a whiteboard for your daily to-do list. Let's talk about something that's been a game changer in my life. The humble whiteboard. I mean, think about it. What's more satisfying than walking into your workspace, or your kitchen, or your bedroom, or heck, even your bathroom, and being greeted by a colorful array of tasks just waiting to be conquered. It's like having your own personal to-do list on steroids, am I right? But let's be real. It's not just about the visual appeal. Nope, there's something deeply satisfying about that moment when you get to grab that marker and put a big fat check mark next to a completed task. It's like a little dopamine hit a virtual high-five to your productive self. And let me tell you, after a long day of crossing off those to-dos, there's nothing quite like the feeling of looking at that blank whiteboard and knowing you've conquered the day. You see, the Stoics believed that by embracing tools and strategies that help us stay focused and organized, we're not only cultivating a sense of discipline and control over our lives, but also nurturing our own well-being and resilience. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. So why not make it a life filled with the satisfaction of a day well-planned and executed? And let's not forget the wise words of Epictetus, who said, everything is interwoven and the web is holy. None of its parts are unconnected. They are composed harmoniously, and together they compose the world. By approaching our daily tasks with the same level of intentionality and focus that the Stoics embodied, we can transform those seemingly daunting to-do lists into a source of empowerment and accomplishment. So, my friends, I challenge you to get yourself a whiteboard and start conquering your days. As the Stoics would say, embrace the challenge and the challenge will embrace you. Because let's be real, who doesn't love the feeling of a job well done, one check mark at a time? 9. Take 10 minutes per day for your mental health. How many of us actually take the time to nurture our mental well-being? I mean, come on, we're all so busy buzzing around like a bunch of worker bees trying to keep up with the never-ending to-do lists and the constant barrage of notifications. It's like we've forgotten that our minds need just as much attention as our bodies, if not more. But let me ask you this. When was the last time you took a step back, took a deep breath, and just let your mind wander. I'm talking about those precious moments where you're not constantly scrolling, typing, or trying to multitask your way through the day. It's like trying to grow a plant without water. Sure, it might survive for a little while, but eventually it's gonna start wilting and drooping just like our poor overworked brains. You see, the Stoics believed that by taking the time to nurture our mental well-being, we're not only cultivating a sense of focus and clarity, but also building the resilience and discipline needed to weather life's ups and downs. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. So why not make it a life filled with the mental clarity and rejuvenation that comes from a little bit of daily self-care? And let's not forget the wise words of Epictetus, who said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. By approaching our mental health with the same level of intentionality and focus that the Stoics embodied, we can transform those fleeting moments of respite into a source of strength and renewal. So, my friends, 
I challenge you to take just 10 minutes out of your day to nourish your mind. As the Stoics would say, embrace the challenge and the challenge will embrace you. Whether it's a quick meditation, a moment of mindfulness, or simply a chance to let your thoughts wander, your brain and your overall well-being will thank you for it. 10. Show up. How many of us have found ourselves sitting on the sidelines, watching life's big party unfold without us? I mean, come on, it's like we've forgotten that the greatest gift we can give to ourselves and the world is simply our presence. It's like that old saying goes, life's a party and you're the guest of honor. So why not put on your best outfit, even if it's just a comfy pair of pajamas and get ready to dance the night away? Because let's be honest, Every single day is our chance to shine, to make our mark on the world, to show up and be the fabulous, unique individuals that we are. It's like that scene in a movie where the main character walks into the room and suddenly all eyes are on them. That's the kind of energy we should be bringing to the table, my friends. No more hiding in the shadows, no more making excuses. It's time to step into the spotlight and let our light shine bright. You see, the Stoics believed that by embracing our role as active participants in the grand party of life, we're not only cultivating a sense of purpose and fulfillment, but also building the resilience and self-assurance needed to weather life's ups and downs. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it. So why not make it a life filled with the confidence and joy that comes from showing up and embracing every moment? And let's not forget the wise words of Seneca, who said, Enjoy the present, whatever it may be. Such is the immutable law. By approaching each day with the same level of enthusiasm and determination that the Stoics embodied, we can transform those seemingly ordinary moments into opportunities to shine and make a lasting impact. So, my friends, I challenge you to show up, to put on your best outfit, even if it's just a cozy pair of pajamas, and to dance the night away. As the Stoics would say, embrace the challenge and the challenge will embrace you. Because let's be real, who doesn't love a good party, especially when the guest of honor is you?